I'm doing a grooming video and I don't have nails on. <laughs> Instagram reality. Instagram reality. What's up you guys? What's happening? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few grooming tips and a few hacks that will help you look more put together and more polished and uh, <clears throat> expensive. I mean, I'm going to make sure that you don't really spend money, but even if you have to do on a few of these hacks, it's going to be very, very, very minimal. minimal. Just some tiny few things here and there that you need to keep in mind before you step outside the house which will just make you look a little bit more extra. Like you know when you look at some girls and you be like oh my gosh she looks so polished and she looks like so fancy even though she's like very casually dressed. Something about her just makes her look really expensive and posh and rich. Basically I'm just giving you a checklist which will help you transform from a jelly to a classy. Yeah so now without wasting any more time let's get into the so first things first always 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 moisturize and by moisturize i don't just mean your face like face ko chamkana to hum sab seekh chuke hain like bas face chamka lo achhe se the most important part is that your hands your body your legs especially if you're wearing like short clothes legs need to be moisturized obviously nobody wants to see dull dry flaky skin when you're wearing short clothes so what i like to do personally is that if i'm wearing short clothes like skirts or shorts or whatever or a dress especially during the the evening occasions i like to just mix a little bit of highlighter in my moisturizer and apply that on my legs so that not only moisturizes my legs but at the same time it gives that extra extra sheen so now this is completely optional you guys can just do uh, your regular moisturization and that is fine but this is just an add-on tip that i'm giving you in case if you want to go for that extra glitter and glamour so hack number two is to wear some kind of a cologne or a perfume or some uh, some fragrance like some mild fragrance like everybody has their natural body smell and that is okay uh, but just uh, when it comes to a little bit of grooming i think having a, a mild fragrance like a nice fresh floral or whatever kind of fragrance that you guys are comfortable with i'm not saying that you have to go for an, an expensive perfume or an expensive uh, cologne or whatever you can just do with a basic deodorant or or a basic roll-on or a basic uh, you know body mist and stuff it's just always pleasant when you're meeting someone when you're hugging someone or when you're just passing by to not smell of sweat a person who smells good is automatically a lot more attractive than the person who does not so yeah quick tip number three so whatever you guys are planning to do with your hair just make sure that it looks really neat now one way to do that is to apply serum on your hair so in case if you're planning to leave your hair open always apply a little bit of serum because that gives a very nice uh, you know smooth smoother texture rather than your hair looking really rough and messy or in case if you're planning to tie your hair up in a ponytail or in a bun all the flyaways that you get here on the front on the crown portion you can just apply a little bit of serum and then just like you know settle it or in case if your flyaways are way too stubborn for a serum then you can apply a little bit like just spray a little bit of uh, hairspray on your comb and then just comb it all backwards and that just helps you don't really have to spray your hair really hard with the hairspray i mean it just looks very off i think just keep it very natural and very soft with just the spray on the comb and that's it that works fine now the next hack could not really be a hack it's actually going to be a pain for all you lazy girls because it's a little bit of a work now when i was a college student i did not really care about my clothes being ironed or not but when you grow up when you become like a working professional and all of that you cannot cannot absolutely cannot and hear me again you cannot step outside in crumpled clothes it just looks really off it looks bad it gives a very bad impression it gives an idea that you don't really care about yourself you don't really care about the work that you're doing you don't really care about the people that you're meeting like iron clothes make you look so crisp and so smart and so formal and just like just nice now this is something that i personally like i always like to accessorize like i'm not talking about wearing chunky jewelry and all of that but just having some accessory on you so either it could be just your earrings either it could be a tiny necklace either it could be just your watch or maybe a bracelet or maybe a ring but just one piece of accessory and it just transforms the whole look be like a nice bag to match with your outfit or it could be a really nice belt that matches your outfit just one piece of accessory that just brings it all together and makes 
makes it look more dressy. I have a lot of peach fuzz around my cheeks and on my chin so I just like to go over with my razor every two or three days just to make sure I don't really have the, the the fresh growth. I just like to make sure that I get rid of that before I step outside my house. So you can just do it every two or three days. Make sure that your nails are filed, they're not chipped, the nail polish is not coming off. Just just make sure that you know even if it's coming off you just take it all off and apply a fresh paint. With that these were a few of my grooming tips which I follow and I think it just gives a very good first impression when a person takes care of themselves. A lot more put together it just shows the kind of effort that you put into yourself and that's actually really impressive and attractive but I'm just here to share a few add-ons that might be helpful in case if you were looking for grooming tips and grooming hacks so yeah with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and with that I will see you in my next video bye guys